I hope people will be inspired. I hope that they'll think it's something unique, something different. They'll actually want to know what it's all about. Um, and above all else, I hope they'll notice the natural materials and understand quite why they've been used. I think the, the great thing about this building is that it's, it's a vision in itself, both from the university and from GSK. So um, to try and inspire people with green chemistry, um, it's appropriate to have a building that actually embraces that philosophy. And even from the outside, people don't know what to expect. So this building is designed to be spiky. It's designed to make people feel differently. It's designed to make people think differently. So that they design every aspect of their chemistry. So that they feel every aspect of their chemistry. Uh, the key driver for the building was its carbon neutrality. So the form of the building results both from the materials used and the way in which they need to be used efficiently. So that, that ranges from the solar panels on the roof to the use of timber in the cladding. In terms of the external appearance of the building, we needed to develop our design to suit the context of the Jubilee campus. So that meant that although the building remains very unique, we do tie in the materials with the um, surrounding buildings. So the outwards perspective of our building is remarkable. It has arms that draw out to the community and draw them inside tempting the curiosity of everybody that walks past to ask the question, what goes on inside there? Science should not be done in castles. Science should not be done in defended forts. Science has to be done where we're, we're visible to the general public. We invite the public in to see our science. The lab spaces are on the first floor, which means that they get the benefit of the height. Traditionally, we might have put in a ceiling just to um, allow all the surfaces to be hidden. But with the use of timber in the building and the natural light that we allow to filter through from the roof lights, um, we can make the most of that space and it gives a really different feel to a laboratory space. I think over the years, lab design has developed in terms of uh, extra degree of flexibility. Uh, we've certainly taken that concept on within our building and the option to move the space around to reformat it to suit different experiments. It's really something we've focused on and we expect to see that more and more as time goes on. So each of the groups working in this building are actually doing groundbreaking research. They're pushing back frontiers in their own specific areas of science. There is no reason why chemistry cannot be done in a more efficient way. And the best way to deliver efficient chemistry is to have efficient laboratories that are mindful for their carbon footprint as well as the carbon footprint of the chemistry within. The Winter Garden is something that uh, came out of the development of our scheme um, as time went on and with discussions with the university themselves. The initial concept required uh, a huge number of solar panels to provide the energy for the building. Now the knock-on for having a large roof is that you have this fantastic space that resides underneath it. What we actually then did was enclose that space to form the Winter Garden. That worked very well for the university in terms of providing the outreach space and somewhere for people to actually just break out from their own workspaces. So by following up good design principles, we've been able to use the space under this roof in a really quite innovative way. We use the space to connect every aspect of the laboratory. It actually connects all of the offices on the dry side of our building together. This space really is like the heartbeat of our society now. 
it's become the central meeting place for all of our scientists and actually loved by the rest of the university community. Uh, the building itself is on a brownfield site, um, but even so, it has been used by nature and wildlife during the previous period when it was lying dormant. Um, to achieve the BRIAM outstanding and LEED Platinum rating, it's important that we replace that biodiversity and the green roof is a big part of that. The principal aim of this building is to do, is to develop, is to think about sustainable chemistry. What better place to do it than the world's most sustainable chemistry laboratories.